Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy and this is a chew review. It is the number 41 chew review and as you just saw it will be of Chattanooga chew. This is a Swisher product. It is a three ounce bag which like all Swisher chews with the exception of mail pouch come in a buy one get one free box. This pouch was sent down to me by Berg's from Berg's Dip Reviews. So when he originally had this, this was one of two pouches in a cardboard box. If you don't know what these look like, you can check out my star review or the Bowie review. And I believe there, I think that was the only two so far. The mail pouch is sold as a single bag. So looking at this bag, you have the warning label and not for individual resale. Three ounces is denoted with the brand up top. This bag does not have a Ziploc. It has a fold back, fold in different directions. And on the other side, there is one of their little stories. The last time I had one of these little stories, it was the Bowie. So hopefully the story doesn't jinx me here. On the bottom, you have branding and then what would be the barcode if this was an individual sold bag and manufacturer's information and down here the domestic foreign content. That is the trade union that produces this. That is their crest shield whatever you would like to call that all right i believe it is the tobacco and confectionery trade union so the domestic on this is 46.5 percent and the foreign is 53.5 percent i don't know why swisher does that can't you go 0.5 one way or another you know whatever Anyway, the story on the back I shall read to you. Loose leaf chewing tobacco, Chattanooga Chew. Discover the rich taste of the past in Chattanooga Chew. Our traditional process of careful curing is what gives Chattanooga Chew its premium flavor. We specially select only the finest quality tobacco, and because Chattanooga Chew is carefully packaged in foil, you can depend on a fresh, long-lasting chew. We take great care to make Chattanooga Chew the qu finest quality chewing tobacco you can buy. This is where we all laugh. Laughing comes to the close. They then follow this up. They double down with a guarantee. <clears throat> we guarantee moist, fresh tobacco in every package. If not satisfied, return this label and the purchase price amount of your, for your money back. Sent to Swisher International Incorporated, 4000 Water Street, Wheeling, West Virginia. Which is also covering the manufacturer's information. This is a product of Swisher International of Wheeling, West Virginia. The makers of Kayak, Silver Creek, Redwood Snuff, Cooper, and chewing tobacco like Mail Pouch. I was just about to say trophy. Star. <laughs> uh, Bowie. And Chattanooga Chew. So, what I'm expecting here is quite a number of blue dots. 
So looking at the package. Now, as I said, it's a fold down, fold down, then fold back, and then fold. You see what I mean? That's what I mean by the, the, the back and forth. So looking at the top, there is no tobacco stuck, which is good. I'm going to carefully open this so I don't rip the bag. And I'm ripping the bag anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ah! <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh, God, I hate when that happens. Okay, so you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen and a half glue dots. It's a dark smelling rich original. The product looks in fairly good condition in the bag. It's 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 not real dry. It's not the it's not Stoker's wet, but it's uh it looks like it's in good shape. So that's what you're looking at. I am seeing some stem material. Looks like secondary stuff. There are a couple blonde highlights, but it looks like it's been treated pretty liberally with molasses. Doesn't smell bad. Now, I'll pull some out here and then I'm gonna have to hit the pause button. So, to the touch, it's tacky. Tacky to the touch. And that's what you're looking at. It doesn't look bad, actually. It, it, look, it looks all right. We'll see. I'll be back in a moment. And I am back. Okay. It's all right. I mean, it's not the best I've ever had. I wasn't expecting it to be. But it's not the worst. Um, it's all right. It's, it, it's, they're going for an original. Okay? And they're pulling it off. It's, it's an original. It's uh, not as sweet as the star and i don't know why but i keep wanting to say trophy every time i go to say star it's not as sweet as that but it comes in well this came in good condition it's it, it's very moist once you get it in the mouth it's only tacky to the touch when getting it out of the bag but once you get it in it juices up pretty quick it's comfortable. It's got some secondary stem material going on, but like nothing's like stabbing me in the cheek or gum or anything like that. So it's staying pretty well formed. Um, the flavor is okay as far as original goes. There is something with their originals, like the Star original. Well, number one, the Star original was sweeter. Okay, and I've seen other companies sell their sweet products as like the Stokers, uh, Red Supreme. If you like Levi or Star, try this. So I don't know if Star is supposed to be like a hybrid or original sweetened product, but this is not as sweet as the Star, but it sort of has the same underlying flavor unfortunately with this at this point with swisher i'm a little biased against them and you know what i i try to look past it because this product is all right and story excluded this is a budget product now i don't know if it is in line with star or if it's like a half step up but i if, if they're selling two bags in a box 
at one lower price than it's a budget product in my mind. At some point, I would like to do some research when I have more time and find out some background stories about chewing products. The problem with this is that it's going to take some time. Uh, information to come by is, it, it's hard to get. Anyway, Chattanooga wasn't always owned by Swisher. Who owned them, though, I do not know. But I do have in the playlist commercials of old, there is an old Chattanooga Chew commercial in there. So, you got a budget product in a three-ounce bag. Two of these bags get put in a box, and the box is sold for, I don't know, I don't know what this is ranging at, but I'm guessing somewhere between 5 and $6. At that price, this is all right. This is acceptable. The flavor is, it's an original, not as sweet as the Star original. Juice is up good, has some secondary stems, but is comfortable in the mouth. Is staying pretty firm. And as you can tell, I'm using the spittoon quite a bit. So that's always a good thing, too. Uh, there is an underlying flavor, which I am guessing. It's the same underlying that was in the Star original. This isn't as sweet, but there's an undercurrent there that is the same. And I am guessing that is the molasses that they most likely use in both products. But... All in all, this is all right. Um, as I said, this product has a bit of history, but I do not know at this time what it is. But if you see it, and it's cheap enough, and you're looking for a chew, this, th th this passes. Um, as did the star. Although I do think I like this one a little bit more. Um... The mail pouch was all right. It's just, if you know the story behind mail pouch, it is a sort of a weaning, very light on the molasses. Okay, I'm not going to say it's a Havana Blossom, but it's probably closer to that than it is to this. The only one that I would warn you off of was the Bowie. The Bowie... They were going for some sort of fruit essence in the belly, but it 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 didn't work out. It, don't buy belly. But if you see this, yeah, you might want to give it a try. I mean, if it if it's like five bucks or whatnot, and it's two pouches, give it a try. You don't like it, toss the one pouch and give one to some one of your buddies or something. So this now two levels of nicotine. Okay, for younger guys that are wondering, all chewing tobacco has really low levels of free nicotine. So keep your can of Coke or Grizzly close at hand because if you're looking for a nicotine hit, you're not getting it from this. Not, not to the extent that you want. So this has been the review of Chattanooga Chew from Swisher International. It's an original chew. Comes buy one, get one free. Two pouches in a box for a total of six ounces. Should be at a lower price. And all that said, for what it is, it's all right. I am the student tie dip and chew guy. I haven't got any notifications, but a bunch of people have come in. So if you are new, and you have subscribed, I do thank you, okay? Uh, I am very busy at the moment, so I have not been hitting up all the comment sections and whatnot, but subscribers, people that comment, hit the like button, little kid to savage with every video he comments on that guy, it is appreciated. It's just, I'm sort of running crazy at the moment. I will be back tomorrow with a dry snuff review before we get back into the tough guy line.
Do check out Berg's Dip Reviews, who is to thank for this review. 30 Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee 83, Snuff Strings, No Bluff Buff, Real Talk Studios, and snoosefreak.com, the channel here on YouTube. I do hope you all are well, and as always, God bless.